Welcome to the Rotunda. This is the sixth largest room inside of Mammoth Cave system. Deep below central Kentucky, tourists gawk, and they should. Mammoth Cave is imposing, close to 400 mapped miles, by far the world's biggest cave system. And in one of its limestone passageways, you'll find Roger Brucker. It's up there. Uh, you can see it. There's American caving's top name over the last half century. That's how long Mammoth has been his second home. Now 80, he's still exploring. I still get a kick out of wondering where these passages go. Brucker was eight when he first set foot here. Some kids are scared of the dark. Brucker loved it. It was very mysterious and very spooky, and I thought, wow, I'd sure like to explore this. Many people think of caves like this as dark and damp, cold and creepy. But to Roger Brucker, there's magic in the mystery of what's really down here and where it all leads. The other team will start at A2. These days, Brucker mentors the next generation of caving. Past the sleeping bats and assorted crawlies, he teaches them surveying, mapping, and surviving underground. He's a caving legend. Yes. To cavers, Roger Brucker is an A-list celebrity. Just the opportunity to be able to learn under this person who started exploring when so few people were doing it. People started exploring mammoths 5,000 years ago. But in many pockets, Brucker got there first mapping more than 40 miles of it himself. And suddenly you are walking where there are no footprints. Nobody has ever been there before. He has introduced mammoth to cavers and caving to outsiders. But over the years, he has also connected caves with each other, discovering passageways that link them. <coughs> He's still discovering a curiosity both ageless and timeless, pushing him further into the mystery underground a modern caveman, and proud of it. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Mammoth Cave, Kentucky.